Hey everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, let's talk about the foods that are worse for your teeth than candy. So most of us are already aware that candy is bad for your teeth and some candies are actually worse than others. I actually have a video all about the best and worst candies for your teeth if you're interested, but for the purpose of this video, we're talking about how there are foods that are worse for your teeth than the worst candies. So let's talk about these cavity-causing foods. A serious cavity-causing food is a saltine cracker. Sugar exists in many different forms. It's not just the candy sugar that we immediately think of when we think of sugar. In the case of saltine crackers, they are considered fermented carbohydrates. After you eat carbohydrates, they eventually break down into sugars. However, the fermentable carbs are the ones that break down into sugars while they are still being chewed in your mouth. So fermentable carbs are the sneaky, super bad sugars. I mean, we all know that candy is sugar right away, but saltine crackers? What? Most crackers and chips and bread and goldfish and pasta are all fermentable carbs. I mean, think about it. When you're eating these types of foods, when you're chewing on them, they start to get sticky and stuck all up in your teeth. And of course, when food gets stuck into your teeth, that makes matters even worse because it's harder to clean out. So when you're craving starchy carbs like bread, try to eat less refined varieties, such as whole wheat. They have less added sugars, which helps reduce your rate of getting cavities. Also, try Try not to let these carbs be stuck on your teeth for a prolonged period of time and make sure you are always drinking water while you're eating them to help wash it away off your teeth. Dried fruit. I mean, really, it's basically candy. It's sticky, it's high in sugar, just skip the dried fruit and eat the fresh fruit if you can. And if you can't because you're on a road trip or something and dried fruit is just what you have, make sure you properly brush and floss after so none of that sticky dried fruit is stuck all up in the crevices of your teeth. Also, always drink water as well. Soda pop. It's no secret that soda is bad for your teeth because most soft drinks contain a massive amount of sugar. But that's not the only issue with soda or pop or whatever you want to call it. I call it pop, but I'm trying to be professional and soda seems professional. I don't know which one is more professional. Anyway, soda is very acidic as well. So it's not only the sugar, it's the acidity. The acidity can break down your enamel and the sugar, as we all know, can give you cavities. In addition, soda tends to stain your teeth too. So nothing good comes from drinking this stuff, so avoid it when you can. And if you're at a party or something and treating yourself once in a while to a can of Coke or whatever, try to drink water right away after you're done. So then this sugary acidic beverage is not sitting on your teeth for a prolonged period of time. Just like with soda, juice is also very sugary and acidic. So same thing goes for juice. Try to avoid sipping on juice throughout the day, especially with kids. Lots of apple juices, however, have no sugar added. So that's a little better, but still there's natural sugars, right? So I've read with kids, you should still water down the apple juice, add some water to the juice, kind of lower the concentration of the juice, which helps decrease the natural sugars and make it a little better for their teeth. Also, it's recommended to use a straw to keep it from having too much contact with your teeth and always rinse with water after. Gummy vitamins. Again, they are basically candy. Although healthy for your body, very unhealthy for your teeth. They are packed with sugar and also sticky, so if you can, choose vitamins that you can swallow or that are at least chewable. So when you rinse with water after, it won't be all stuck up in your teeth. Coffee and tea, both are acidic and diuretic, which means they can dry out your mouth. Dry mouth, meaning not much saliva in your mouth, makes you more prone to both cavities and gum disease. And of course, most people tend to add cream or sugar itself to their coffee, so it's just a whole thing of bad for your teeth. And of course, course, the staining. I've heard that sometimes tea stains your teeth more than coffee, but of course it depends on the tea and it depends on the person. Either way, after you're done with your coffee and or tea, always rinse with water so it is not sitting on your teeth. Sorry I keep saying drink water and sip on water and rinse with water after each thing, but it is so important for your teeth to drink water. Cough drops. They are essentially candy. Don't eat them unless you absolutely need them for treating a cough. Beer, wine, and cocktails. All the good stuff, right? The reason these ones are super bad is because oftentimes when you're drinking these, you don't just drink them and you're done. You sip on them, right? You be sipping. And the longer, the prolonged amount of time that this stuff is sitting on your teeth, 
the more likely you are to get a cavity, especially with the carbs in the beer, the acidity in the wine, and the sugar-filled cocktails. It is all bad stuff. I know you all get the point. You get it. Oh, but one more thing. Alcohol can also dry out your mouth. So like we said earlier, dry mouth can cause both cavities and gum disease. So not only should you rinse with water after consuming alcohol, but it's also a very good idea to add a fluoride mouthwash to your bedtime routine after a night of drinking. Ice. Although there are no sugar or carbs or acid or anything, ice is hard. And oftentimes people chew on ice. I actually have a video all about what can happen if you chew on ice, and I will link that video below if you want more details. But in summary, chewing on ice can cause unnecessary stress on your teeth, which can crack your teeth, causing long-term sensitivity and enamel loss, which can lead to a bunch of other things. So ice is fine to cool your drink, but it is not fine to chew on. Stop chewing on ice. Energy and sports drinks. You already know, they are filled with sugar and acids. Super bad, just like soda and juice. Drink your water. Pickles. Okay, this is a random one. This is because of the vinegar that is acidic. There is actually a study I came across about pickles that was done in England. It was showing how pickles were one of the salad foods most closely linked with tooth wear. Eating them more than once a day increased the odds by 85%. So pickles can wear away your teeth. Be careful with pickles. Citrus. Again, y'all know they are acidic. Oranges, grapefruits, limes, and lemons are all tasty. However, remember, if you put a lemon in your water, it is now acidic water. Also, keep in mind the acid from citrus can bother you a lot if you have any mouth sores. So to recap, sugars exist in many forms. Any and all forms of sugar, such as fermentable carbs, can cause tooth decay, aka cavities. So try to cut back on the sugars, and if you can't cut back, make sure you always rinse your mouth out with water after eating them. And of course, if you can, brush brush and floss properly after every snack and meal as well. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if this video helped you. If you want more teeth talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, where I have more articles and videos about healthy mouths and healthy teeth. Peace, love, and teeth.